Okay, so 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 far we have talked about the partial derivative at a point. We talked about function of two variables, and we said uh, the partial derivative at a point is defined as a limit of a difference quotient, defined as an ordinary derivative. And then we talk about function of several variables, and we give some definition. Now I'm going to talk about it as a function. Now the idea of a partial derivative as a function is it sends any point in the domain to the partial derivative of the function at the point. Now there's there's a couple of subtleties I want to to specify here. So first of all, the point, the input here, is all the coordinates of the point. Okay. So if it's a function of two variables, the the partial derivative function is also a function of two variables. It's a function of variables x and y. The partial derivative is also a function of of x and y. Okay. It's not just a. It's a partial derivative of x. It's not just a function of x. It's a function of both variables x and y. Okay, and and secondly, the domain of this function, the uh, domain of the partial derivative, is contained inside the domain of the function. Now, you could have a situation where the partial derivative doesn't exist at some point where the function exists. Okay, because that limit doesn't make sense. So I'll take the example of function of two variables, f of x comma y. So, what is f sub x of x comma y? Well, f sub x of x comma y is Basically, what what it's saying is it's taking a point x comma y, and it's calculating f sub x at the actual values x comma y. Okay, so it's it's another way of saying is or uh, it's denoted. Yes. This, so this is basically just saying it's the function which sends any actual point. X not y not, so it's 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 you can define it explicitly like x not comma y not. Any actual point goes to just like what we defined earlier as a partial derivative at the point, and that's what the definition is. Mm, but but so so remember it's a function of both ways f sub x of x and y, and you can simply define f sub. I won't write the full thing, but oops. Some love. Okay. So it's just a function which sends any portal point to the partial derivative at the point. So that's that's the definition here, and 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 you can write it as a difference quotient, etc. Now, now how do you think of it in practice? In practice, if you are, how do you actually like cal calculate this? Well, first of all, earlier when you had actual points, partial derivatives were actual numbers, right? So if I give you an actual point and then you knew the function of partial derivatives was an actual number, but now that you now you think of the generic version, the as a function version, if you, if I give you a function of two variables, the partial derivative will also be a function of two variables, and the way you think about it is f sub x is just maybe I'll just grab the pen. Uh, so it's just like you differentiate treating other variables as constant. So you treat them as unknown constants. As unknown constants, I won't write unknown, but basically you just treat them as constants which you just don't know the values of. Okay, so so if I give you a function of two variables, maybe I'll take a explicit example. I won't like do them very elaborate, but something like if I just take f of x comma y is x squared plus x y. That's why. And if you if you don't know how to differentiate polynomials, you don't have to be scared by that. You probably do know if you've reached to this stage. But 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 the focus isn't really on what how to differentiate the function. It's just to understand what we're doing here. Now, if you want to do f sub x, the good news is you don't actually have to like use you do the limit of difference quotient or anything. You just formally differentiate this with respect to x, but you treat y. As a constant, which you don't know the value of, but it's still a constant while you are doing the differentiation. Okay, so this is the derivative of x square, which is two times x to the 
2 minus 1 is 2x plus x times y and you know the derivative for product is the product of the derivatives, right? Yes, but you're treating y as a constant. Well, or not. you're treating y as a constant, so what should this derivative be? Well, yeah. it's not the product of the derivatives. It's You can use the product rule, but in this case, y is a constant, right? So derivative of a product, in general, you would use the product rule. But now y is a constant, so you can actually just do the simpler version. You just pull y out, and derivative of x is y. Derivative of x is 1, right? So the overall you get y. Yeah. And uh, and the derivative of y square, what's the derivative of y square? 0. 0, right? So, so yeah, so, so x square becomes 2x, xy becomes y, and and y square becomes 0. Okay? In general, if you are dealing with, with a product or two things, you have to use the product rule. So I said something wrong in between, which is that the derivative of product is the product of derivatives. That's not the correct thing. Uh, that's the wrong product rule. Uh, the way you do this is use the product rule, and in this case, y is a constant, you can use the product rule. Okay. Um, so, f sub y of x comma y, what's that? Well, what does x square differentiate to when, when you're differentiating this with y? x square becomes 0. So, derivative of x, y? Well, if you use the product rule, it's Derivative of x times y plus x times the derivative of y. Derivative of x is 0, so you just get x times the derivative of y. So that's x plus, what's the derivative of y square? 2y. 2y. Do you have this here? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we see that, that, that doing this differentiation is just basically, you just differentiate with this with one way, but the other one you treat it as a constant whose value you happen not to know. Now let's just say for uh, more than two variables, also the idea will be the same. You just differentiate with respect to that variable and all the other variables you treat as constants. Okay?